Esther from Let's Plan. I wanted to show you a quick video on how you would put a cover on your planner if you are using your planner on your MacBook. So I'm using MacBook Pro, which is my laptop. I'm using the Safari app, and I will be installing my planner in the GoodNotes app. So let's get started. I'm on the PDF that comes with your order, and I'm going down to access your planner. So double click on that. It's going to take us to Dropbox. You do, need, do not need the Dropbox app or to have an account to do this. So if you get any pop-ups on your screen, just close them, ignore them, and follow these steps. So on this first uh, page that pops up, gives us options of the planner. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see the 80 covers option. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to open up our 80 covers, and we want to download these. So over here on the left, I'm going to click the download. If you don't see this download here, it just means you're in a different browser. Look down at the bottom of your screen and there could be a white bar with the blue download button on it. That's if you're in Chrome. So go ahead and figure out how to download these files onto your uh, MacBook. So I'm going to click download. It only takes a second. My little blue bar over here on the left is working. When that's done, I know they're downloaded. So I'm downloaded now. So I can close this. I'm going to go into my um, finder and I'm going to get the download folder opened. So I'm going to go here, go to downloads, and here it is. So I'm going to double click on that folder. Now here's the fun part. You get to scroll through these 80 covers and decide which one you want to um, use on your planner. So let me just click on this first one. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click down here on share. Then when this little other pop-up window comes up, go ahead and click on add to photos. So do that and it's already done. So we can go ahead and close this. Now we need to go into the app that we are using our planner in. Mine's GoodNotes and I have my icon down here on my sidebar. So take your time and find your app that you're using your planner in and click on it. Then you're going to go ahead and find that planner that you want to install a cover on. So I have one right here that I need to put a cover on. So click on the planner without the cover. If you've been scrolling around in your planner, you want to go back to the very first page in your planner, and you can do that by putting on the hyperlink mode. If you're in uh, GoodNotes, this is how you would change it. Change your icon up here in the left corner to look like the little circle with the pen tool, and then click on your Help button down at the bottom or tab. This is going to take you to the very first page in your planner. We want to duplicate this. So now go back over to the left, and next to the icon that allows you to change modes, there's a piece of paper with a plus sign. Click on that. Leave all the settings how they are and just click on the picture of the page. Now it gives me two of them. So I have two of them. We're going to click on the number one page because we're going to add the cover to this. Now we're going back over to our toolbar and we're going to put on the editing mode. So click on the little swoosh with the pen again. Now it's going to change it and it's going to allow you to edit your planner. About in the middle there's an icon that looks like the picture. Go ahead and double click on that. It's going to drop a window down here on your page and it's going to show you all your pictures. So this is good to know. This is exactly how you would um, add any pictures that you want to to any of your layouts, which is really fun to do. So I'm going to double click on the, um, I don't even know if I have to double click, but go ahead and click on the planner cover. Yeah, you can just single click and it shows up, but now we need to resize it obviously. So this bottom corner here has the circle um, with the little arrows, go ahead and put your cursor on that and just drag. And you want to drag it pretty big. What we're going to do is just cover up our planner. You can do it one of two ways. Some people cover up the entire planner. That's usually what I do. And some people like to leave the tabs showing, which takes a little bit of finessing. Um, if you do want to leave your tabs, you will have to crop it a little bit. So the little white rectangles on the outside of the planner allow you to crop. So go ahead and just play with this for a minute. Get it where you want. You kind of might have to scroll up and down on your screen to see. There we go. I think that's where I want it. Now to click off of this so that your planner looks like it should over here on the left, how it still looks small, it's going to stay like that unless you click off of it. So scroll down um, below your planner screen, be, below the cover screen, and click on the next page. And then it automatically changes over here on the left on the number one screen to what it would look like. So let's go back to our main screen of GoodNotes by clicking this arrow in the back, uh, this back arrow up here in the left corner, and it takes me back to my main screen. Now you can see it. Now in GoodNotes, um, they have this white page they put behind everything 
So you will see this white shadow sticking out and there's really no way or no way that I've figured out how to get rid of that. But when you click on your planner to use it, you don't see that white shadow. So that's just something I want to let you know. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for your purchase and happy planning.